Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Hello. Thing's got a mind of its own. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today, we are taking a look at string frames. And we are taking a look at a completely new and free and free preset pack by Pixel Hug. So PXLHG, Pixel Hug. Uh, he knows we're streaming this tonight. There is a link in the description that will take you to a thread on the Audio Bus forum. And in the first part of that thread is the download. Take it to your downloads, unzip it, and then when you want to install it, you install it from inside frames. So remember where you installed it in your downloads. I just left it in downloads. It was easier. And then I just hit this little button here and it'll take you to where you have up. You see, there you go. And once it's unzipped, You'll see if it's down here somewhere. I can't remember now. Oh, no, it's too much stuff. Anyway, it's in, you just, re it's in my, uh, it was in my downloads here, I think. Um, and it'll say, it should say, see, see where it says pixel hot. When you unzip it, it'll, it'll give you the zip file. And it'll do this and then it'll unzip this like this. And this is the one you want to tap. Just tap on this, the uh, .fbe file. Don't worry about the samples. They'll be installed automatically, but you can use them separately as well. Just tap on that and you're good to go. It'll open in. It, frames will ask you if you want to import it, so it's fine. It's dead easy. Anyway, all instructions are on the uh, audio bus forum. Anyway, can you hear me okay? That's good. I'd like to say hi to everybody who's here. And uh, thank you for joining me this evening, where we're going to get very freaky. Now, this is a noise and glitch pack, basically the Mod Wheel Edition, where almost every single one, and it tells you there's a little MW beside each patch, the Mod Wheel will do stuff all the time. So we take this one, since it says Airborne, um, I can't even see what it says, but we play a note. <laughs> Now, these are experimental, so if you don't like experimental music, you don't like noises, glitches, stuff like this, you're not going to like this. So there's nothing like melodic or musical here or paddy or chord or anything. This is purely all special effects, but they're so good that you can use this stuff in anything. But if you like experimental music like me, I, I'm pretty sure most of you do, then you'll love this pack, and it's free. If you've already got frames, you're good to go. Right. Play with the mod wheel. So very cool and there are lots and lots and lots of them so loads of work goes into this stuff guys as you probably know because it's all sample based and it's got synth engine in it as well i really like that i might add that to my uh little thing i've got going on here hang on so. <laughs> So let's move on, shall we? Find some more. Uh, he can build up some massive, huge, awesome textures. Your textures. Uh, you might need to check your... If you if you hover over your thing, there is a little uh, gear icon. 
it should say HD. If it doesn't say HD, Stefan, then just click on that and then you can reset your uh, resolution there. And you can do that for any YouTube video. If that doesn't work, I don't know. It may be not super sharp because it's not a live, it's not a, but it's, it should be sharp enough. Excellent. So let's, oops, hang on a minute. Let's just, um, boink, open this up and then let's reduce that a little bit, shall we? Can we? Yeah. So, what's this? Oh, this is really good. This is this frames is fantastic. Some there is there are a lot of you know really playable sounds. Oh, you're wearing headphones. Yeah, that's brilliant, isn't it? These are fabulous for things like soundtracks, etc.
I haven't tried that dark bite, but the only you will never get. I don't know if if you're trying what you're trying to do, but if you're trying to get the sound of the Mo the Moog Model D to come into Gadget, that's impossible. All Taipei will do is play Moog Model D in something like AUM, and you have to reach it via AUM. So you have to have Moog Model D open in another app that will play the sound of the Moog Model D. You, you're trying to get it to work in Gadget. Forget it, it won't work. That's not what Taipei is for. Taipei is just for playing the MIDI you put in in Gadget somewhere else <laughs> I, I, I know it's brilliant it's brilliant in AUM because you can have gadget in AUM as, a, as an interapp audio and then you can have a load of other stuff it also in AUM played by different Taipei's but you need them open in AUM to do it to root it I haven't tried Taipei for absolutely ages I've got a tutorial on it somewhere on the channel if you put the sound test room called gadget Taipei and it should come up Almost sound melodic. Ah, right, okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Without actually kind of going into it in some detail sometime, I, I don't know. But I don't I don't use it now. Make all the sounds in gadget basically and never need it. Well, if if you've got all the uh, gadgets and stuff. Sorry to hear that, Gary. Blinking Rona. Look at that. Is it ever going to go away? Jamie. <laughs> I I you know I love all this stuff. I think it's absolutely fab.
just awesome stuff this is. Hello, GB Crow. Hi to everyone who's here. This is. Oh, I was see this. Oh, Stefan, this is. Uh, this is Loopy Pro. This is Loopy Pro. Uh, this is Loopy Pro. It's running in Loopy Pro, and this is called Frames. This is a AUV3. So you've got Loopy Pro, and Frames is running inside Loopy Pro. You know, as it's as the DAW, if you like. So, and template one is just the the templates I've got set up. So instead of having donuts, I've got these little little squares. It's a wall. Jamie, Gary, Dark Bite, Jim, Stephen, Mr. Powell. Anyone else who's here who, who I haven't mentioned, I do apologise. Should go and get this, it's free. This pack. Very important. Yes, Joe, my wife, Synth Widow. Thanks, GB Crow. I hope you like the patches. <laughs> Melody's great, Jamie. For, great for programming. There's so much stuff you can do. Thank <laughs> you. 
really like this one. So I'm going to ditch some of these because they're uh, not very good and I was just messing around. Not the patches aren't very good, my construction of the patches. But let's switch the metronome on. And record this, this is really nice. Awesome. Um, let's turn the metronome on a sec. Should we put a should we put an effect on this? Someone just ju someone just let me just add an effect to this channel. I'll put a, a, a reverb on it. Um, Someone just mentioned um, it's got. I put black hole on everything I do. It's the first review I should try others, but I, I do like I do like black hole as a reverb. I'm I'm going to um, also. I haven't installed the free flux mini. I've got the flux pro beta on here, but I don't want to use that. I'll see if I've. I think I've still got. I think I've got. I might even have Flux one on here, you know. I'm gonna search, I can search now, can't I? Flux. Flux. Oh, there we go. So I've got Paul, Paul from Four Pockets is Flux. But I've got Flux Mini, which is free. Flux Pro, which is coming out soon. Let's try this. So this is free. This is Flux Mini 1. Flux Mini 2's out now. That's nice. And Epic. Yeah, 
imagine Flux Mini 2 is better than Flux Mini. I'll get I'll, I'll install that tomorrow and Flux Pro is just great. <laughs> It will be when it's released, which is soon, I think. Pixel Hog did a lot of very cool sampling. Oh yeah, yeah, pure acid. You can you can get an upgrade now to help Jim, who's who's helping people out in Ukraine. Jim Audio. You can buy buy a color scheme and something else as well. And all the proceeds go to help in Ukraine. So yeah. I think there's two upgrades, isn't there, Dale? There's, there's two, there's a, there's a colour and something else, and I can't remember what it is. Oh, oh, it's a new, um, I think it's a new logo. It's all to help, you know. Hi, Ed. Oh, terribly sorry to hear that, mate. My condolences. Yeah, I quite like FL. I, I did a video on it the other day. On the new update. Some people don't like it. I like it. I think it's okay. And I have no affiliation with with uh, Image Line. I, I I bought I bought FL and I bought all the preset packs for it too. I, I quite like it. I think it's I think the sounds are great and it's got some nice new stuff added the other day. So yeah. These are the kind of sounds you listen to, and it, it, it's almost like they it evolves. But don't forget to play with the mod wheel. That's key. One of the very few melodics.
Wayne Silverman, uh, what am I connecting through? Um, uh, okay, so it, it's uh, let me see. Um, it all goes right. It's God, it's complicated to explain this, right? Okay, so the audio from the iPad is via USB, okay, and that's coming out the back of a Steinberg UR816C audio interface. The output from that audio interface is going into a Steinberg UR22 Mark II. The USB output from that Steinberg is going into the camera that's filming it and uh, running the audio for that as well. So that, that's how it, that's how it's set up. Oh. And the uh, MIDI for the key step is coming out the back of the Steinberg 816C. Standard five pinned in MIDI. It's USB-C. See, the brilliance of frames, synth, granular synth, is it's not just grain engine. It's not just samples. It's also got a full synth in there as well, which is very cool. What are we? What are, what? What are we saying? It's got an ARP. I've, I've just caught the chat. Colin said he can't find an ARP. What are we on about? Yes, Wayne. Audio face. No problem. Audio interface. Audio interface. Oh, Mela three. All right. Okay. Should we see if we can find it? Should we see if we can find the arc? Let's add another AUV3. So let's add a... Um, I'll search for Mela. Mela. Mela 3. Let's see if we can locate the arc, eh? I'm going to... Um, I'm going to hook this up to Mela as well. Turn it down. So here's Mela. Up a bit, shall we? See what we can do. Right. So, I don't know where it is neither. You know, I'm just uh, I'm just having a look. Right. So, um, um, my screen. Hang on. Okay. So. it 
where might it be? Yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Um, let's sort of try and find it, eh? So this is, let's close the things. So we're just kind of, oh, is it anything to do with the keyboard, do you think? Yeah, it's not. So we don't need to see the keyboard. things don't know don't know where it is it's interesting it, it's a it's a it's a trick it's a trick to get you to search it's like when they change the shells around in asda so you have to walk around other parts of the sh oh. I'm sure it's in there somewhere i i used it on that as well. <laughs> did i did i I don't know what I'm doing from one day to the next. It's all too confusing. Five meters. lovely there sound like i'm having a bloody massage oh yeah they're just there yeah Bit worried. I, 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 I get a bit. I'd get a bit worried if these sounds were happening while I was having my teeth drilled. <laughs>
Stephen Rimmer. Stephen Rimmer's still here. Guys, listen, thanks so much. Yeah, he's still here. It wasn't me that asked, it was Joe. Listen, thanks very much for joining me this evening where we talk a look at frames, granular synth from Imaginando and a, a pack from Pixel Hog that is available for free. There's a link in the description. Go and grab it because it's for nothing. Uh, and it's awesome and it's very strange. But, you know, we like strange. Strange is good. Okay, guys, tomorrow night I will be... It was uh, it's a VST desktop on tomorrow night. And it's called Melody Source 2, which is loads and loads better than Melody Source 1. And Melody Source 1 was good, but this is tons better. So if you're interested in anything like that on the desktop, then you'll you'll really enjoy that. while you say to our to each other thanks very much again and i will see you all tomorrow Ta-da. Joe is making homemade Kima. We like Kima here. Kima. Um, right, okay. So, again, I'll carry on with a few of these. That sounds, that's really grim. It's an Indian. It's an Indian dish. It's an Indian dish made with uh, minced meat and peas. No, it's nothing like a korma. That's it, Jamie. Bloody hell, you're right. Yeah, because... Oh! E right, Jamie's spot on. Anyone interested in the Mela thing? Mela also... Right. You can use Mela as an effect. Let's turn this down, right? Mm -hmm. 
You can use mallet as a MIDI effect as well. So I'm not sure. I wasn't sure how I'd set it up in this. Actually, would I just put it in a MIDI slot? I think I might just put it in a MIDI slot. Can't remember now anyway. But anyway, yes, you can do this. Like if we go Mela now in the effects slot, see where it says Mela effects three. And if we open, uh, no, no. Right, I need to add a MIDI channel. Oh, let me just add a MIDI channel. Mela three. This now is the, I think. No, it's not, is it? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, look, this, uh, I did it. In me video, it is. It opens up as a, a MIDI effects. There is a way to do it in it. I just can't remember. It opens up as a, a MIDI effect, and it, you can can have an arpeggiate and stuff like that. Anyway, awesome. Now, it, it can't work in standalone because it's like a separate app. Mela three is actually three effects in one, three apps in one. The synth the effects, and then the MIDI effects as well. There is a way to set it up, Jim. I just can't remember that too. Well, I did a tutorial on it as well. <laughs> it sounds like a, so it sounds like some bad pipes.